Good morning, everyone. I'm back after my one week break uh, attending my granddaughter's wedding in Dallas, Texas. So we're glad to be home. Extremely, extremely hot there. Uh, 101 on the day of her wedding. So back to cool, colorful, wonderful Colorado. My name is Sherry Minnie. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I live in a rural town named Kingsburg, Colorado. We're about 45 minutes northeast of Denver. And today we're going to be doing a card. I had a Stamp-A-Stack, a holiday Stamp-A-Stack at my house uh, last Saturday, and today I'm going to do uh, show you one of the cards that we made. Several of my ladies weren't able to attend, so they got packets, so this this video is kind of for their benefit also, and this is the card we're going to make. And I do have to apologize to someone out there. I saw this on um, YouTube. I kind of I added a couple of extra layers and changed a couple of things around, and I'm so sorry. I don't remember the name of the person. It's been quite a while ago that I watched it. Most of you probably have figured out that I'm not much of a designer, but I'm a pretty good uh, copier or caser, as we call it. And this is definitely a cased cards, which stands for copy and share everything. Um, and it's using one of our bundles and it's just a wonderful card and expresses my true sentiments about what Christmas is all about. So for the, what we're using today, we're using a, a new uh, bundle from the uh, new mini catalog that goes from September to January. It's called Night Divine. We're using um, the stamp set, and we're using several of the dies. Uh, we're using the animals. We're using, let's see, what else did I use? I guess that's about it, and we're using all the little animals, and I use those for different decorations. And unfortunately, somewhere in my studio, I have lost the little four-legged uh, sheep die, and I'm going to be doing some major searching through trash cans here to see if I pull it off into the trash. It's always a disaster when that happens. We're also going to be using um, this deckled circle dies. I think I used five and six, number fives and six on here. And then I used uh, the largest stylish shapes circle dies. Uh, let's see, we'll be using the Distress Tile 3D folder. Um, it's a gorgeous folder and I've used it. It's also in the new mini catalog. For inks, we're going to be using Versamark and Knight of Navy. That will be our ink colors for today. Uh, we'll also be using uh, some of this gorgeous, and as you can see, I'm almost out, this gorgeous uh, glittered ribbon. It is the Knight of Navy and the, with little um, gold dots on them. So pretty, and if I, I may have to order another roll. I, I'm not sure if I would use it up, so I'm not sure if I'll do that, but we'll also be using our little... Uh, embossing buddy to keep the uh, static down on the piece we're embossing and we will be using gold embossing powder and I think that's about it for the things we're going to be using uh, in your packet you have an envelope you have a card base and you'll notice a little bit of difference on this card I opened it with the 11 by four and a quarter scored at five and a half and when I was cutting all my packets for my snap stack I just got in my rut of the way I normally do a card. And this one is going to be the 8.5 by 5.5 scored at 4 and a quarter. And it worked out fine. It did, you can do it either, either way. I normally always do this kind of a card, this orientation. So when I change it, I have, I have to watch and I did not do that. You're going to have a piece of 4 by five and a quarter, that's gonna go on our inside. Now I had a piece of gold foil here and this was three and five eighths by four and seven eighths. And what I did is I took, of course it was a solid piece and I took my die from the, uh, let me find them here real quick. I know they're here, there they are. The Night Divine and I just laid this in the center just to save conserve my foil paper because I don't have a lot of it and cut it out in the middle and it's going to be covered nobody's ever going to see it so it'll be perfectly it'll work out perfectly fine okay and then we will have I think I showed you that one um, we'll have some little strips 
This will be a little strip of vanilla. I think it's a half by two and three quarter. And it'll be embossed with our saying and it'll be put upon this, adhered to this gold piece. And this is going to be on the inside to decorate our inside uh, of our card. And let's see. Oh, I have to run over next door and get all the things I cut out in advance. Hold on just one second. Okay, here's all my little bowl of all the things I've pre-done. Here's our bow. Here's our little animals and so forth. But what I didn't show you is uh, you'll have a piece of... Um, Let's see, what is this called? Oh, it's just totally slipped my mind. Anyway, you're going to have this. It, this is also in the new um, mini catalog. And I did not write it down. Oh, yes, I did. It's more dazzle. And it comes in this uh, kind of champagne color, and then it comes in a gold. And you'll have a three and a half by three and a half inch square, and then you'll take one of the, the, uh, Deckled circles and cut it off, cut it out with that. And then you'll have another three and a half by three and a half piece of the designer series paper that matches the uh, the Night Divine bundle. Uh, this is called Shining Brightly. And you'll take the um, stylish shapes, the largest one of the stylish shapes, and cut it out. And you'll have these two circles. And I have already pre done that. Also, we will be using uh, some mini-backed star trinkets uh, as our embellishment on this card. Okay, so let's see if I can get us going here. I haven't done this for a while, so as you know, it always takes me a while to get back in the swing of things. So what I'm going to do, first of all, I'm going to take our embossed piece, and I am going to uh, attach it to our gold foil. Now, anytime you're attaching something to gold foil, you want to be careful so that you don't get glue on the foil because it'll leave a smudge mark no matter no matter what we do. And I got a little bit of a shadow here. I don't know if I can adjust my lights any to help with that or not. Maybe not. It's not as bright today as it normally is. We're supposed to have a cool down coming. Um, and maybe we haven't had a frost yet. We may have our first frost uh, of 2020 of this year, this winter season. Fall. Well, I guess we're still fall, but fall is my favorite time of year, especially in Colorado. It's always so gorgeous and beautiful, beautiful sunny days and cool evenings. And it's just a wonderful, a wonderful time of the year for me anyway. I told my granddaughter, who was born and raised in Colorado, how does she handle the heat in Dallas and... Uh, I guess when you're young and in love, you can handle anything, right? She had a beautiful wedding. It was so nice to be able to be with her and to help her a little bit. We helped her make her bouquets and all of that, so it was very nice. My son, who is a pastor, was actually officiated at the wedding ceremony, so that was, that was wonderful. Okay, now we're going to take our card base. And our gold piece. I hope I am staying in camera. It's amazing how quickly you get out of the rhythm of doing these videos. And we're going to put this on here. Now this is smaller, so you have a nice wide border, which I really do like. And I'm just going to... Rub this down a little bit so that make sure. And I apologize. I realized after watching one of my old videos that every time I rub on this table, it shakes. It's just one of those plastic, <clears throat> excuse me, plastic tables. And it does have a tendency to shake. So now we're going to work on our doing our stamping as soon as I find all my pieces. Oh my goodness. Here's our inside piece. I put it on the Stamparatus. Yes, this has been retired, but I have several of them and I will still continue to use them because I struggle from time to time getting things straight, especially insides of cards. 
And so I'm going to use that. We're going to use our Knight of Navy. And I took my little thing that I used to rub down on in the other room for classes for the stamp stack and I didn't get it back in here, but I think I can do this. Beautiful. He shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. And amen. And let's see if I can find what I did with my, my little... Found one if I can get it up out of the bottom of my container here. My little vanilla strip I seem to have misplaced it somewhere. But I do have spares, thankfully. Oops. It does seem almost impossible that we could be thinking about having to get ready for Christmas already. Just like, seriously, where did everything go? Where did the time fly? Okay, ladies, it's going to be one of my days where I can't find anything. And I'm sure it's right in front of my face. My little, uh, oh, there it is, my little pad so it doesn't the embossing powder doesn't go everywhere. And then we will take our first mark. Make sure it's good and inked. This is a very, very tight squeeze on the stamping, and I probably shouldn't have done something a little different because a few of my ladies struggled, but it does just fit. Just leave it down for a couple of seconds so it can soak into the paper. And then I will take my gold embossing powder. And as you know, we won't be embossing it because I don't bring, I don't bring my loud, noisy heat tool. My stamp room with as much stuff as I have in there, there's just not room for me to do my videos. And what I usually do, and I don't have one over here, but before I heat emboss this, you all can see that I have a little bit of a bit right there. I'll take a um, paintbrush, small paintbrush, and go over that. So I'm going to lay that right there, and we will. I will emboss it because I have a few more of these cards to make. Okay. And through the magic of having everything on video, I have already done one of these. And whoops, I pulled out the wrong. Pulled out the wrong one. I need this. No, I do need. I need gold. Oh my goodness. I really am out of practice, aren't I? Hasn't been that long ago that I did one of these. All right, and the, I'm going to glue this down and then we will pop this one up on the front of our card. And it's a pretty tight fit all the way around. Like, like so. Okay. Now on the bottom of this, we will take our Piece. Uh, this is the same designer series uh, pack of paper, shining brightly. And in that packet, you have designs with the navy and the gold, and then the vanilla and the gold. And I'm going to stick this on here. And obviously. That's not going to work. I cut that way too short. Okay. We're going to have to regroup. But what's going to happen is, 
we're going to do, I'll, I'll go over there and get another piece of designer series paper and it'll be stuck on there. Okay. So that will be a later off, off camera event. I don't know how that, how I got that so short. Oh, maybe, oh wait, I think here's a longer one. Yes, this is much better. All right. I just cut it wrong. Okay. And then this will. This will just go along the bottom. And on this one, I'm going to leave a little bit of the vanilla showing at the bottom. Push it. All right, and then, oh, I did this again. Somehow I had a little drop of something right there, so I have a little bit of a, so I'm not gonna put this in the card. This will be the inside piece of our card. I'm gonna have to redo it, I don't like that. And I am mailing these out, so I have to get it done properly. All right, now we're gonna take this and this, and we are going to glue this piece of designer series paper like onto our uh, what did I call this hmm. more dazzle I'm just gonna put oops now you do want to let this sit a minute because this is a glimmer paper and it's kind of very rough texture and so to get this to stick the way you want to, takes a little bit of time. For those of you who have ever come, maybe want to order something or have contemplated ordering something, uh, the night this month from yesterday through Wednesday, Stampin' Up! is offering free shipping something they don't do very often and it will save you their shipping rate is uh, either 7.95 minimum or 11 percent of whatever the total of your order if it's uh, whichever is greater and uh, so i'm making myself up an order because i need a lot of cardstock and that stuff gets heavy and uh, it'll save me a ton of money so i'll be putting in an order tomorrow so just keep that in mind you can go to my um, online store, which is sherrymini.stampinup.net, to order anything. Uh, you can contact me at suaddicted at gmail.com if you'd like to order something and aren't comfortable in doing it online. I'll be glad to help you out with that. Um, and as always, my the details and instructions on this and the video will be posted on my blog at simplylovestampin.com. Okay, so now we're going to take our little... Nativity scene cut out, and I'm going to put um, glue pretty much all along here just to keep it down nice on the front. I'm not popping it up. Um, there's quite a bit of dimension on here, especially if you put the, the uh, ribbon on, so I don't think it's necessary to pop anything else up. And I would suggest, if you think this is a card you'd like to do for your Christmas or something, leaving the ribbon off because it adds so much bulk you're definitely going to have to put extra postage and it looks fine without the ribbon uh, i just had it thought it was beautiful and i wanted to use it okay then the ribbon we're going to put it on with glue dots and i actually put I think about three on there because it is a very, uh, it's kind of a heavy, heavier bow. And so we will put I'm also going to I'm going to cut the edges a little bit at an angle. And we'll put a Blue dot in the middle. Stick it to my finger, which I always do. 
And then I think I'm going to put a cup one on each side just to give it a little bit extra reinforcement. I don't want it to fall out when they open up the envelope. Fall off, rather. Okay. This card does go together pretty quickly. Um, once you get everything cut out, it goes together so quickly. And then this we're just going to put kind of along the bottom here. Okay. And then we will take our, sure we will. I am so sorry that I can't keep track of anything today. Okay, here we go. We'll take some dimensionals. I'd rather have the large ones than the small ones. And I usually put three on a long strip like this. Take our backings off. This is going to be a little bit longer of a video because I'm out of practice. <laughs> and we will place this kind of centered down here at the bottom. And there you go. And uh, of course, oh, I didn't, I could, I can now put our inside in, can't I? If I can find what I did with that. My goodness. I haven't had a, oh, here we go. All right. this on the inside and I'll put our little animals on the front of our envelope and the back and we are ready to go there we go I said I wasn't going to because of that but I did it anyway I think I'll get away with it all right for our our uh, little envelope I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my camel on the front and the only thing you want to make sure is that you get this glued down really, really well so your post office will take it from you because, I don't know about yours, but my post office doesn't like, really doesn't like me having things on the front of the envelope, but I do it anyway. I figure if you're going to charge me an arm and a leg for postage, I can do what I want with my envelope. Isn't he cute? I like his, he's, this is such a nice, neat, neat set. I doubt very seriously that I will be getting rid of it once it retires. And then we have the donkey. That I'm going to put on the back. Along with the little sheep that's laying down. Or, oh, you know what? I think this is the cow now that I look at. I'm not sure. I think it's the cow. And say a little prayer for me that I will find my die because there's nothing more irritating than to not have a complete set of dies. And I hate to order another set just to have one, one animal. But I also hate going through the trash. <laughs> Especially when there's all these you know, I have a big uh, trash can by my cutting station, and so all my scraps and stuff go in there, except for the ones that I send to recycling. But, yeah, I hate going through all that, but I'm going to. All right, there we go, ladies. So this one's a little different because it opens this way, and this one opens that way. So I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for uh, watching and spending some of your day or evening with me. I appreciate it so much. Uh, I've had some new subscribers to my YouTube channel, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. And may God bless each and every one of you, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.